Hello, my name's Scott Perry. I'm a professional magician, and this is a magic review. It's a kind of magic. In today's review, we're looking at Appearing Glass by Steve Thompson. The TLDR on this is that it's very good. It's a very clever method. Uh, it's, it's very interesting. It's very useful as well. It's practical, but I will say that not everyone will be able to perform this in the way that Steve teaches. I don't want you to waste your money, so please watch this review the whole way through. There will be some important points during the review and also in the final thoughts. So the TLDR is that it's really good. I think it's really practical. I think it's really clever, but some people won't be able to perform it. And that's a big issue. There's also another couple of issues that I have with the effect, uh, but overall, that's the TLDR. But what is it? It's a way of making a glass of liquid appear um, open-topped in a bag. So what happens is basically you bring out a flat bag, you open it up, and then uh, you, will, you will just hear and see something drop into the bag and uh, it will be a glass and you'll reach in and you'll take a glass out of liquid. It can be any liquid. Uh, Steve recommends that you don't use uh, fizzy drinks, sweet drinks, carbonated drinks, that kind of thing. But that's what the effect is. The clue is in the name. It's an appearing glass, but in a bag. What do you get or what do you receive? You receive a glass. This is sourced specifically for its size to work perfectly with the bag. Steve does say in the tutorial, you can use others and uh, he, he recommends using this. I would agree with him. I would also recommend using this glass. There's not really any reason why you wouldn't want to use this. It's made of plastic, it will, it will travel well. And uh, yeah, I, I think that this is a very suitable glass to perform in pretty much every situation. You also receive this. This is a top for the, the glass. And you receive a specially gimmicked uh, bag like so. Uh, I would say paper bag, but it's not paper. We'll come on to that uh, a little bit later, but that's what you receive. You also receive, uh, so that's physically what you receive. And then you also receive roughly 20 minute download uh, video instructions that are really well shot by Steve in a studio. They're very clear. Steve takes you through pretty much everything that you need to know, almost. Um, he does miss off a little bit, which we'll touch on in the final thoughts, but that's overall what you receive when you buy appearing glass. How easy is appearing glass? Uh, it's, it's pretty easy. However, if you cannot use the holdout for the glass that Steve teaches you on the tutorial, you basically can't perform the trick. Uh, so you need to be very careful when you're thinking about buying this because Steve doesn't give you any other options for different holdouts. So the holdout that he teaches is simple, it is easy, but it won't work for everyone and it won't work for certain body shapes and it won't work for certain body sizes. For me, it's an issue. I can't perform it that way. I'll show you a little bit later in the final thoughts, but basically I don't want you to waste your money. Um, make sure you watch all of this review because if you, if you can't perform it in the way that Steve teaches, he doesn't teach you any other methods. And unless you have another method of holding out a glass, you can't really perform the trick and it's then wasted money, basically. But it, it, if you can perform it, it's quite an easy trick to perform. Reset time is, is instant, so the, the bag just folds up and is, is a bag of Tyvek, basically. There's nothing really to reset in this or, or, or do after you perform. The glass, obviously, if you're going to perform on stage, you're going to have uh, the glass held out and uh, it's very unlikely that you would produce another one. But uh, yes, so obviously you're going to need to reset that if you want to uh, produce another one and you would have to go off stage to do that. I don't think, you know, anyone's going to question that. You all know what's happening here or you all know roughly what's going on here. However, Steve does take you through a walk around method of using the appearing glass which I think is really clever. So I don't want to give too much away, but that is a, an instant reset where you can make a glass appear from table to table um, in a walk around situation. Not necessarily a cocktail reception or a drinks reception or something like that, but rather at tables, maybe at a dinner, at a corporate event or wedding where you're moving from table to table. I personally wouldn't do it, but 
I think that it's definitely a valid approach on using the bag in a really interesting way. So it might work for you overall in terms of reset, it's very, very fast. Angles are also very good in the way that Steve teaches this and the way the method and the handling works, you are covered like definitely 180 degrees. Obviously you don't want anyone too far behind you looking inwards. Obviously you don't want anyone behind you, but, but the angles are so good in comparison to other appearing bottles, appearing glasses, uh, similar effects uh, where the angles are not so good as this. So yes, the angles are very, very good. Pocket space is equally as good. Of course, you're going to have to have this held out somewhere, whether you hold it out in the place that Steve tells you to, uh, I don't know, that's up to you. That's whether that works for you and your body type and your body shape and uh, also your clothing requirements. And the paper bag or the Tyvek bag is just a bag. Uh, you cannot fold it lengthways like this. Um, so I would, I would not recommend folding it that way. You can, however, fold it this way. Uh, so it's pretty practical in terms of pocket space, depending on the situations that you're performing in. It doesn't take up too much. So yes, pocket space overall is pretty good. My final thoughts are mixed on this. I think the method is really clever. I think the, the effect as a whole is really good, but I think one big pitfall is the holdout. So to hold out the glass in the way that Steve uh, tells you you need to, or the way he teaches you to do it, you, you first of all, you need to be wearing some sort of jacket. You need to be wearing a belt and uh, I will let you decide actually. I'll put some footage up on screen of me with the glass in the holdout and you tell me if it looks suspicious. I definitely cannot get away with this at an event. Uh, maybe on stage if, if I walk on at a certain angle and produce the glass straight away, but I definitely couldn't walk around on stage in the way that Steve suggests in the, in the instructions where um, at some point you then load the glass in, into the bag. So that is really unfortunate because Steve doesn't give you, not only does he not teach you any other ways of producing, or uh, like I was gonna say producing the glass, but the holdout, he doesn't give you any other options of the holdout. He also doesn't tell you where you can learn other methods of holding out a glass. So that is a real shame. And it, it, for me, it feels like a half-baked effect because the, the method and, and the routine and everything is really clever. The props are clever, but I think that only a small group of people are going to be able to perform it, uh, at least unless they have a different way of, of holding out the glass, in which way you're kind of using two methods. So you have to buy another magic trick to be able to, to perform this one. So it's a real shame. Uh, I wish the method of holding out the glass that Steve teaches, I wish it worked more reliably on more people. As I say, you've seen the footage of me with this held out in the way that Steve teaches. I absolutely can't get away with it. There's no way. Also, larger people than me won't be able to get away with it. There's a very specific kind of body shape and size, and also you have to be wearing a particular um, size of jacket to, to get away with it. That's not to say you won't be able to, some people will. And also, depending on your jacket, uh, if it's a casual jacket and not a dinner jacket, you might be able to get away with it more. And of course, there are people who perform in casual clothes rather than smart clothes or, or formal clothes. So you have to decide whether you're going to be able to perform this or not. You need to wear a belt. You need to have some sort of jacket that uh, I would say is a relaxed fit. And you also need to be able to wear this glass on you in a way that doesn't look suspicious. Also, another thing that I think is a really big downfall of this effect is that you, you get one bag, and yes, it's made of Tyvek, but it's, it, the, so the bag is gimmicked in a way that you most people probably won't be able to recreate. I don't think I could recreate this at all. Uh, Tyvek is not an easy thing to cut and to, to manufacture and to put together. So I think it's really unfortunate that you only get one bag. And also it's white. What if I wanted to use a red bag or, or a yellow bag or a, or a black bag? There's no option to. I think that magic suppliers and magic producers owe it to us as, as, as customers, as magicians. They owe it to us to offer refills when they produce a magic trick. 
and I'm not saying for free, I would be happy to pay, you know, 25 pounds for five of these bags in various colors. You know, sell us a refill for this in, in white, in black, in red, in blue, and then, I don't know, orange or something, but give us some options. I think it's ludicrous because first of all, you might lose this bag, you might break it, eventually um, it will deteriorate and get and get sticky and, and it just won't look great. So eventually you will need another one of these bags and there's no option to buy a refill for it. Uh, and I think that us as magicians, us as magic customers, us as people who spend our hard earned money on these effects that are really good and really clever, we deserve the right to be able to perform them for a long time. And with this, after a certain amount of time, you're probably not going to be able to. And of course, we know with a lot of magic effects, after some years, they're not produced anymore. So if this ever goes out of stock or if, if Steve ever stops making it or, or, or you know, if, if um, it just lies dormant in the magic community, it's just an effect that's not no longer produced, you have no options. So I, I, I think that it's really important that magic producers and magic shops, Murphy's Magic, Vanishing Ink, whoever's producing the magic tricks, they give us options for refills so that we, we can continue performing these wonderful effects without having to purchase the entire effect again because it, it's ridiculous to have to spend another £34 to buy this if I happen to lose this or the glass or the bag or, or something goes wrong with the bag because as I say eventually it might be years I don't know how long it will last it will last a long time that's for sure it's robust but eventually it will break or get dirty or something will happen to it or perhaps you know I will lose it or and that's that's my own fault yes but I, I do believe that magic producers and magic shops owe us the right to buy refills when we've already purchased the trick itself so yeah those are the those are the pitfalls i think of appearing glass and also steve says uh, you shouldn't really perform it with uh, carbonated fizzy drinks uh, sweet drinks so that's something to consider as well he recommends that you do produce still drinks uh, that's overall the review i think that's all of the pitfalls that i can cover um, as I say, some of these issues with this effect might mean that you cannot perform it and that means that this is a complete waste of money for those people. Um, so yes, overall I do like the trick, it's very clever, it's very good, it's very interesting and practical, but only if you can perform it. Uh, that's everything in today's review. If you found it helpful, insightful, or if you purchased it off of the back of this review, leave a comment, leave a like, um, You know, subscribe if you want to, if you're not already subscribed. And I will see you in the next review.